Hey everybody, it's Chase with AV Pop Culture again, and today I am here for a couple of reasons. One, I'm going to give you my top five must-watch 4th of July horror movies, and I am here to announce the giveaway and all the details for my 1500 subscriber giveaway, and yes, one of the things I will be giving away is the terrifier vhs but that's just one of the things and it's not even the best thing so pop that tape in i got you let's go do this all right so i know everybody's anxious to hear about the giveaway and the details uh but we have a little business to take care of first, and that is going over my top five uh, favorite movie horror movies to watch on the 4th of July. And um, there's actually surprisingly good amount of movies that you could associate with the uh, summertime and the 4th of July. But uh, for me, these kind of always stick out. And there's a couple of little surprises in here that you probably don't think of. But uh, I think the first one that comes to mind that uh, everybody has to think about is um, I Know What You Did Last Summer. I mean, this takes place basically, you know, on for uh, after Fourth of July celebration. Summer is right there in the title. Uh, this is uh, Sarah Michelle Gellar. And uh, I'm a huge Buffy the Vampire Slayer TV show fan. And the Buffy movie fan, I, I love that one too, and I and I know Christy a little bit, Christy Swanson, so fan of all the Buffy around, but like, this was Sarah Michelle Gellar at like, going into like season two of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, which is one of the biggest seasons, so it's like the height of her power. Jennifer Love Hewitt, very popular. Freddie Prinze Jr., of course, uh, him and Sarah Michelle Gellar have basically been together since then. Uh, Ryan Phillippe. Uh, I mean, it's like a take on the old Hookman story. Um, Fourth of July celebration. I, I actually, I don't know if this movie has a 4K or not, but I definitely need an upgrade from the old DVD. And it deserves a rewatch. I think I'm going to uh, watch it probably tonight or tomorrow. All right. Next up is one... Um, you might think about this one. Uh, this is just this was on my favorite werewolf uh, movie list. So make sure you check out that that list, the top 10 werewolf movies. But um, this one is Silver Bullet. And maybe you don't readily think about Silver Bullet for this, but it has the small town atmosphere vibe and uh, i'm actually going to do a video here soon on um because i'm big on atmosphere with horror movies i'm going to do a top 10 uh most like creepy small town atmosphere type uh horror movies that just sort of you know 10 best small town creepy atmosphere type uh films and uh you could look this one there's a good chance this one might be on the list but if you're not really thinking about it, I mean, the it's based on the book or the, the story um, cycle of the werewolf. And like a lot of the attacks kind of initially coincide with holidays. And the biggest one is Fourth of July to the point where, um, you know, um, Marty's uncle, Gary Busey, he buys uh, Marty uh, fireworks after the town's Fourth of July fireworks um, celebration gets canceled. And while the fireworks kind of <laughs> you know, bring the werewolf to him, the fireworks kind of save his life. So, I mean, I, I just, I don't know. I think about the small town, 4th of July, you know, you got fireworks going off, things like that. Uh, so Silver Bullet, definitely on uh, my top five for, uh, you know, must watch around the 4th of July. Of course, I just look for a reason to watch Silver Bullet. Uh, this is a good one and uh, check it out. Okay, now the next one I guarantee you're not thinking about, but uh, this is also a Stephen King one, and it's based on a book that I I don't necessarily read it every summer, but I listen to it. It's, perf uh, it's got a great version on Audible to listen to, and I am talking about It. Uh, this is another one with the small town. Nobody does the small town creepy atmospheric vibe better, in my opinion, 
than uh, Stephen King. Man, he is he's the king of that. I mean, he's he's off his rocker sometimes, but that that part uh, he's got down. And while not necessarily specifically Fourth of July, um, it takes place whether you want to watch this one or Chapter One of the the remake. Uh, I prefer this. Um, it takes place, it you know, like over the summer and the cha- you know, kind of reflects the changes that you go through and the kids coming together over the summertime. They're going to the movies and hanging out and riding bikes. It's very, very summer, small town vibe in that. And um, it's like I said, it's a book that I listen to most of the time because I'm doing other stuff. I'll listen to the book uh, on Audible every summer because it just has those summertime like that old nostalgic summertime creepy horror you are out with your friends like this is what we used to do in the 80s and we would explore a haunted house somewhere like an old abandoned barn or something like that and uh we you know kind of creep ourselves out and that that's what this gives me and uh, i kind of watch it around this time every year so uh stephen king's it uh, the next one is going to, uh, blow your mind, absolutely blow your mind because you're not thinking about this and it is not really set even in the summertime. As a matter of fact, it is purposely not set in the summertime. So you might be thinking, how the hell does it apply to the 4th of July? I am talking about, we're going Stephen King again. I'm talking about The Shining. Now, this is a cool, like, um. Uh, like aftermarket slipcase I got for the the 4K. Um, when you're like, how the hell does that, like he's a caretaker in the wintertime at a hotel. Like that's the whole point of it. Like how in the hell does this have to do anything with the 4th of July? Well, if you think about the creepiest mind twisting moment in this movie, 100% mind twisting, what the hell holy shit moment ever is at the very end and the ballroom picture. The ballroom picture has July 4th, 1921. And there is Jack Nicholson in the center of it, right above where it says July 4th, 1921 celebration. And it's like the, huh? Like, was he always there did the hotel claim like that is the biggest what the hell moment that you can interpret 800 different ways and i really like that um i like the mind twist element but uh just that lasting image of jack nicholson trapped sort of claimed by the hotel is the way i i kind of see it like he was always there was always a part of him, like the hotel has cl- is claiming certain people. There's always a part of him that has been there. Now he's sort of damned, doomed to be there forever. The lasting image of that is July 4th, 1921. So that makes me think of The Shining. Just give me any reason to watch The Shining, especially here on 4K. Amazing. So, uh, there, Stephen King. I wasn't even really thinking about it until I started doing this, but, uh, although he, he hated this movie and he's wrong, but he hated this movie. He said the book is hot and the movie is cold. Well, I think Kubrick wins. I think the, the movie is badass. All right. The, uh, I actually have, it's a top five list, but I have one that's so obvious I left it off. This one is the most fun, maybe, to watch on the list. And um, July 3rd, 1984, shit starts to go down. I'm talking about uh, Return of the Living Dead. So technically, since it takes place overnight, it goes from the 3rd into the 4th. And uh, what can I tell you? I mean, I this this movie is fun. I, I mean, I still consider it a horror comedy. Uh, you got all this going on. You got the Tar Man. Uh, I love my Fright Rags hat with the Tar Man um, on there. And uh, I mean, this movie is just a shitload of fun. And I mean, you got uh, you you have Linnea Quigley like naked half the time. And 
I don't I don't know. Like if you can't watch Return of the Living Dead and have fun and when it's set right here at the 4th of July, it has to be on the list. And it would basically be the top on my list. Um I, I didn't put like sci-fi on here, like Independence Day. Those that's like an obvious one. Um and it would be at the top of my list, obviously, except for the one that's sort of set above the list. Uh, I love Return of the Living Dead, but there is one that's set above the list that is so obvious. It is Jaws. And um, I'm going to talk about this uh, box set later, but uh, smile, you son of a bitch. It's uh, 19, um, the 1970s, was it 75 with Jaws? Um, and it is, I mean, it is synonymous with the 4th of July and, um, this awesome from Blockbuster box sets. And I'm going to do a video on him soon. Uh, Jaws 4k, like how do you not like associate Jaws with the 4th of July? It was so obvious to me. It is like set up and above, um, the, the whole rest of the list. So it's like, it's so obvious. I left it off because, I mean, the first one is 4th of July. You can run with the second one is 4th of July. You know, I mean, it's all it's, it's Jaws. They're synonymous with the 4th of July holiday and um, absolutely love it. Love this box set. I'm waiting on my steel books uh, for three, uh, three and four to come in. And um, I still got to get Jaws to 4K. And I, I really want to go back and get the steel book for, for the first Jaws in 4K. I have the Film Vault steel book coming, but uh, I have the standard 4K now. And, um, you know, this set is absolutely friggin' awesome. I love that. And, um, yeah, super cool. To me, it sets up and above and beyond everything else. So it was too obvious to put on the list, just like Independence Day. But, no 4th of July goes by without me watching Jaws to, uh, on the 4th of July tomorrow night. We're going to cook out on my back deck. I have the big blow up like a uh, 12 foot screen with a projector. Going to take a Blu-ray out or uh, take the, the 4K player out there, hook it to the projector. And uh, we'll probably watch Jaws outside with the party lights once it gets dark because it's a thousand degrees here in Georgia <laughs> um, and uh, enjoy Jaws. So that is my list of must-watch horror movies for the 4th of July. Now, I know that you want to know all about this 1,500 subscriber giveaway. Listen, I am so thankful at how fast this channel has grown. Uh, I've been doing it now, I think, five, six weeks maybe, and I'm at 1,500 subscribers. That is absolutely awesome. Um... And I, I am just so I hope this channel continues to grow. And uh, I want to say thank you so much to everybody out there and my new channel member, uh, Tyler P. Uh, was first channel member on there. And, uh, you know, there is some cool videos that I have up for channel members only like uh, behind the scenes and gag reels and stuff like that for um, for my uh, the, for the films that I've made and uh things like that and uh it is time to you know give back a little bit uh, my subscribers there's tiers of my subscribe uh, subscribers or uh, uh members that are going to get a chance to get you know giveaways every month but we're going to do this one and I, I and i will do giveaways here and there but this one is a big one so without further ado let's talk about what i'm giving away and how you can win it all right, so on the giveaways, yes, I am giving away. One of the main things I'm giving away here is the Terrifier 2 VHS. It is sealed. Everybody's looking for one of these. Uh, I know it's reflecting like hell off of my computer screen in the window over there. Uh, but it is 100% perfect condition. Uh, Terrifier 2. Uh, yes, I still have one for myself, uh, thanks to my buddy Brian. And um, But I am going to give this one away. So that is one of the giveaways. Another one of the giveaways is 
Uh, and you might know Donald Sutherland passed away recently. Uh, this is the Arrow set of Invasion of the Body Snatchers starring Donald Sutherland. Sealed, perfect condition. Um, I just think this is a classic. And uh, I love the Arrow chunky boxes and Donald Sutherland Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Uh, I mean, how do you go wrong with that? And uh, I just think, especially now with uh, now that we lost him, it's it's something that's super cool to add to your collection if you do not have it. And uh, it is one of the things that I am giving away. And finally, you might have thought that you you can't beat Terrifier VHS for a giveaway, but I say you're wrong because. The big other prize, the biggest prize, in my opinion, I mean, I'm not really splitting hair, hairs over which one of these is which, but in my opinion, the absolute biggest is this Second Sight Dog Soldiers set. This is a big time, big time set. Um, uh, you know, I don't even know what, what to say. This is the second sight set of um, the it's f the 4K, all that jazz, uh, the dog soldiers. It is very reflective. But you can see, um, if you haven't seen this movie, this is one of my favorite werewolf movies. This is a very heavy, chunky box. Um, I can kind of show you some of the stuff that's in it with mine that is open. Sorry, Arnold. Um, so this is a very, very cool set. And I'll be talking about this set later on another video. But uh, this has lots of stuff. Got a whole booklet. And, uh, of course, the movie, 4K. Um, sealed, perfect condition. There's no shelfware on this. Uh, second sight. Um... You know, I think this is uh, Second Sight does great stuff. I mean, you got Dolby Vision on this, but um, I mean, tons of special features on here. I think this, I mean, Terrifier 2 VHS is very hard to find, uh, but I think this set is super duper cool. Um, I will be giving away those three. So, also, though, with that. Pretty much everyone who wins, it, what I'm going to do is you're going to get a copy of one of my films that I've made. Um, whether it's Bring Me a Dream. Uh, Bring Me a Dream is the only one that you can still buy. I think you can buy that one on Amazon or straight from Indigen or Magnolia Pictures. Uh, but like Dark Road 79 stars Bill Mosley uh, from Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. Um House of a Thousand Corpses, Devil's Rejects, all that stuff. Um, this, we canceled our distribution deal. Uh, we mutually stopped our dis distribution deal with the distributor that was going to put this out several years ago. So the only copies of this that exists on physical are the ones that were specially pressed for us to sign and sell at the Days of the Dead horror conventions. So like once these are gone, it's gone. This movie doesn't exist on uh, physical media until I can get like vinegar syndrome or somebody to put it out. Um, it does not exist. Uh, this also stars hall of fame, NFL football player, Eddie George. This movie is uh, the one that um, I think it was dread central and a couple others said uh, morbidly beautiful, morbidly beautiful uh, said it was almost famous meets cabin in the woods. I think it was dread central said it was almost famous meets Friday the 13th. So that's some pretty high cotton, a lot of fun with this movie and, uh, bring me a dream, uh, is about the, uh, the Sandman basically. Uh, this, this movie is pretty twisted coming from me. Uh, it stars, uh, Martin Cove, of the Karate Kid and uh, Cobra Kai, obviously. It also stars Tyler Maine, who played uh, Sabretooth in X-Men, and he's playing Sabretooth again in the new Deadpool and Wolverine movie. And uh, he was, of course, Michael Myers in Rob Zombie's Halloween. So uh, this was a fun movie. 
very, very uh, twisted, twisted film. Um, so that might be one. And then one of the funnest movies I've ever done, uh, Creature Feature. Uh, this is the one that uh, Dread Central said is uh, they compared it to Creep Show. That it's an homage to great classics like Creep Show, Trick or Treat, uh, Ain't It Cool News. Uh, said Creature Feature does it with blood, boobs, and balls, <laughs> and it's a fun, just a fun horror anthology. And again, uh, I don't think uh, you might be able to buy a couple of out of print copies out there somewhere on DVD. These were special pressed again for the same uh, horror conventions, and. Um, I actually have the rights back to this, so I'm going to be looking to put it back out again on physical media through someone. Hey, Vinegar Syndrome again. <laughs> Synapse, somebody. Uh, but uh, these are also things that you're probably going to get with, uh, you know, if you win one of the top three prizes here. And uh, when we announce the winners, it's going to be via a live stream. And I'm going to pick someone that is present in the live stream to win something else that is a surprise that I'm not showing here. So very cool. Lots of stuff. How do you win? Uh, well, you have to be subscribed to my channel. You have to be subscribed and uh, you have to comment in the comments on this video. Uh, just say, uh, subscriber giveaway and uh, just make a comment, some kind of comment about the video and say subscriber giveaway in these comments and share it. If you get a chance, share it. If you share it, uh, if you share my page, my YouTube page out there somewhere on social media, I don't care where you share it. If you share it and tag me in it, then that will count as an extra entry. I will put your name on the wheel an extra time. So what I'm going to do is, there's, you know, those just like randomizer, like wheel clickers that you can put on your phone. Everybody that comments in here for an entry and who is subscribed will get their name on that wheel. And then um, if you share the page and tag me in it, if you share my YouTube channel, and tag me in it, you will get to be put on that wheel a second time. So uh, you'll get an extra chance to win. And uh, what's going to happen is who gets what is just going to be at random. So when I spin it first, uh, whoever it lands on, they're going to get uh, Invasion of the Body Snatchers. And anything else, any other swag I throw in with it. And uh, whoever I spin and it lands on second, they're going to get Terrifier 2. It's 2, so second, 2. I mean, I don't really split between these. These I know everybody out there is big on Terrifier 2, but whoever it lands on second is getting Terrifier 2. And then whoever, plus any other swag or other movies I throw in with it, and then whoever I spin and it lands on um, the third time gets this beautiful second sight dog soldier set. Okay, so it's just going to be by chance. Um, you can't win more than one. And uh, sorry, if you're not in the United States, um, it just costs way too much to ship, man. Uh, so you have to be in the United States. You have to be subbed. Uh, you have to comment in the comments. And uh, if you want an extra chance to win, share my YouTube page and tag me in it so that I know you shared it. Uh, I don't care where you share it. Just tag me uh, in it. Tag at uh, AVA Pop Culture. You can tag on Instagram at American Vintage Adventures. Um, you can tag me there. I don't care where you tag. You can tag me with American Vintage Adventures on uh, Facebook, too. Um Wherever you share my YouTube page, tag me if you want an extra chance to be on the spinner. Um, and then when we announce in the live stream, and what I'm going to do is this video is going, I'm filming this on July 3rd. This video is going live today or going uh, to be uploaded today on July 3rd. What we're going to do is allow the contest to run all the way 
through um, next, let's say, since it's a ho- I was only going to do it like five days, but tomorrow's a holiday, and this is a holiday weekend. So uh, let's say that the contest entries are going to run all the way through, let's see, Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night. Um, let's say that it ends on Sunday night at midnight. All right. This Sunday, that is the 4th, 5th, 6th, se- Sunday, July 7th at midnight. Uh, I will close the entries then. So share it like crazy. Uh, and then we will schedule the live stream for uh, next week. And uh, that's when we will do the announcement of who wins. It'll take me a couple of days. You know, I got to figure out everything and do all the spinning and, and all that kind of stuff. Now, there'll be a there'll be a live pick during the live stream to win something else that's really good. Um, but that's how you're going to to win. And, uh, you know, I'll get it. Then I'll get your information and I'll ship it out to you. And uh, that's just my way of saying thank you. And um, the live stream what I'll do is once it's closed, I'll put out a poll and we'll figure out when the best time is for everybody to do the live stream um, so that we can announce the winners in there. And um, I'll leave that sort of up to you guys if you want to do it during the week, during the evening, on the weekend, on the Sunday, uh, like the following Sunday, however we want to do it. But once we close the entries, we'll figure that out. And uh, I really hope you guys have enjoyed all this. Please uh, like and subscribe, share the video, get your entry in down in the comments, um, and uh, you can join the channel. I'm probably going to do monthly giveaways for at least one of my tiers. You can check out all this behind the scenes stuff. There'll be special videos uploaded, all that kind of stuff. Um, And, uh, you know, whatever you want to do. If you want to buy me a cup of coffee, my uh, PayPal tip jar thing is down there. You don't have to do any of that. This is just my way of saying thank you. And I appreciate all of you being here. Please like and subscribe. And uh, I just really, really appreciate it. I am having a blast. And uh, until next time, be kind, rewind like always. This is Chase with AV Pop Culture. And I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye. Hey. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) See you later.